All right, people, quick little update. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, so I've had this car a week and a few days. Um, I guess this will be part five, I think, part five. Uh, yesterday, on Saturday, I did, I did take all the new panels and put them in my shed. I cleaned out the shed, laid some plastic down and all that stuff. Got it ready so that I could uh, primer everything in there, uh, which I did. I primered all the parts, bumper, the bonnet, the hood, the uh, fender. Um, I even did the slam panel and the, uh, the little winglet thing. I'll show you, I'll show you the winglet thing. Uh, and then whatever didn't need clear coat, I went ahead and just sprayed it silver. So like this guy, this does not have clear coat on it from factory. So I'm not going to clear coat this because it would look stupid because then the other side wouldn't match and whatever. So, um, I left everything that needs clear coat still in the shed and I do need to paint the outside of the panels, like I need to paint the top of the, the, the bonnet, uh, I need to paint the front bumper and the outside of the fender. Uh, I've already painted the inside of the fender and the inside of the bonnet. Um, and then, so yeah, I need to paint those and clear them. Uh, I did come out this morning and it weld in the slam panel. Um, and I did paint the slam panel before doing this work. And I know that's going to sound crazy. You're going to think I'm nuts. But th there's a reason I did that. <laughs> and I'll try and explain it as best I can. Um, I I'm cheating this car a little bit. Like I'm not really taking it apart very much. So what I wanted to do was have, uh, I mean, I'll show you guys. This, these, these panels come black, right? They have e-code on them or, or basically black, black primer. So I did prime it correctly. Uh, so I scuffed it back, primed it, painted it. And then, of course, I came out and you know, sanded back. I think it had 30 spot wells. So 30 spots back down to bare metal uh, on both sides. And then, uh, you know, well through primer, the inner piece of it, well through primer, the, the, the side in the car where that, where those, both of those pieces would sandwich together. Uh, and then grind back the underside so that the spot welder would work. Hopefully that makes sense. You need bare metal on the top and the bottom and in between, but in between basically gets well through primered. That's the, the proper way to, to do that. Um, but there, there really would, wouldn't have been very much room for me to try and paint this silver on the underneath after I install it. Unless I go and start stripping, stripping back the parts of the engine and stuff. Like really, I'd have to drain the coolant. And, no. <laughs> Now, we're cheating it a little bit, and uh, I, don't, I don't mind you know, spraying a little extra paint just to not have to do, deal with all that stuff. So uh, that, that's the reason why I painted that silver and then, of course, grind, grind back 30 small little areas of it. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what that, that looks like. Um, so, you know, there's four spot wells here, and uh, I don't know, they're all over here. I'll, I'll show you how they turned out. So I do, I, use, uh, I do use a spot welder for this. I don't plug weld these. Um, Ian, Ian at the Gibby 3340 was asking me about that. Uh, so I, I do use a spotter just to make it look like factory, like, like Mazda did it, right? Not, if you plug weld, like if, if you just drill the holes and plug weld it, when you grind the metal back, it looks better than a spot weld. So it's kind of a red flag if you're looking at a car and it looks too nice. <laughs> um, so that's, let me show you my spotter. What are you doing? Getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver for what? For a thingy. For what thingy? What are you doing? Are you giving a toolbox tour to the people? Do it like Vianna White does. You know who Vianna White is, no? No. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. What screwdriver are you looking for? I don't know. <laughs> What's it for? Uh, like pen chocolate thingy. What pan chocolate thing? I got it a long time ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's chocolate molds, so it's like a piece of colored chocolate. And you're going to use a screwdriver on it? Yeah, so that I can put the batteries in. Oh, okay, here, come here, come here, I'll get you, uh, come here and I'll get you the right screwdriver. Look, we'll give the people a, a tow box tour. Uh, do you want, how big is it? Do you know if it's a, is it a Phillips? No. You don't know? Well, here, we'll give you both. There you go. That way you've got one of each and you'll buy. I think it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that? Is it a, is it a toy or what is it? Not a toy. I'll show you. Uh, Let me to bring it out. You can bring it out. I mean, you can just take this whole, you want this whole kit? Sure. Or just bring it out. You just bring it out. Here, give me those. Give me those. Bring it out and we'll fix it for you. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, I forget where I was. Oh, the spot welder. So I'll show you the, the spot welder I use. Um, this, this is extremely heavy. It's a right pain in the hoo-ha to use. Uh, but it, it does give you that factory, that factory look. Um, and that's it. I'm probably going to, yeah, it's, it's afternoon. I, I want to not work on a car the whole weekend. So, but I probably will paint this completely silver since I have it wrapped up. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Quick update. What do you got? Let me see this thing. What is it? It's a chocolate pen. Oh, okay. Here, come on. All right. Well, we'll put the batteries on for you. All right, let's go. All right, boys. A little paint in action for you. One and a half turns out in the fluid and only like a turn and a bit on the fan. You want to keep this tight. We got a blow in to do in the fander. We'll open the fan up for that. There you go, guys. Now we can uh, get it all put back together. Woo! Yeah. 
Looking good. Yeah, so once that dries up, we'll, uh, we'll get it put back together, and then uh, at some point I'll clear the, that fender uh, and blend the clear up a little bit. Uh, whoo, mm, paint. <laughs> uh, there you go. I mean, this really doesn't take long. I don't, I don't know how long I've been out here, but it's kind of hurry up and wait for it to dry and I, which well, won't, won't take long. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. We can, um, you know, put all little bits and pieces back in that we took out, which wasn't a lot, again. Uh, but before we do that, i got to prime the underside of all the spot welds. Uh, so no big deal there. And, uh, yeah, done. <laughs>